Welcome to Fiddle's World. Welcome if you're new. And if you're not new, still welcome. I'm busy, 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 busy. I'm um, fixing to do the kitchen now. Let's see. I'm making some videos and uploading some videos, so I'm also fixing to do the kitchen off to do clothes. I'm gonna get some stuff for Christmas. Um, just for dinner tonight and for Christmas Eve. So, so um, this video that I'm about to this video, um, this is gonna be the second video for today. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. It is books that I have read that I have in my book collection that I have actually read this year now i do have the co-worker that i'm still currently reading hopefully to get done by the end of this year so i'm going to go ahead and add this book and say i read it this year which i have read it but i didn't finish it um i also have sharp objects which is in my bedroom which i have been reading on it as well I have Driftwood Bay. I started reading it as well. And I still have like all this to read. Will I get it done by the end of this year? Hopefully I will. We will see. Another book I have that I was reading this year, which this book was for I think October. Or last month or October, I don't remember. But it's The Woman in the Window. And I'm actually on chapter 32. So hopefully I can get this done by the end of the year as well. I have not even started this book and it's this year and it's a twister in the dark. If I do not get this book done, done like soon, then I'll probably have to put it on next month's tbr to read for next month i'm still waiting on my shadow book series to come in so i can read them but if not any book that i need to finish reading or have not finished reading this year i will put on next year to finish up but it won't be it will still be something else and then of course i have the silent wife which i started um i'm on page Eight from chapter one, so the second page after reading the first one. So, let's see where we go from there and try to get some of these books done. So, getting into some of these books that I have read, I read this is um, The Love Diary by the Maria Fireproof. I have read it, highlighted some things in the book. This was a really good book. If you have not seen the movie Fireproof, then you need to read the book and you need to see the movie Fireproof. I read the book. It was not my copy. It was the library's copy, but I read it. So, but these are books that I have in my book collection. And this was one of them that I did read. I also read by Carolyn Brown, The Ladies' Room. This book was amazing. It was so good. Um, <clears throat> she does not know that her, her aunt dies, and she inherited her aunt's house and everything in it. But she's married, and her husband was cheating on her even the day of their wedding day. On their wedding day, he had sex with somebody already he cheated on his wife on their wedding day what man wants to cheat on you if you're asking somebody to marry you you don't go cheat on your wedding day with them the whole time they were dating and the whole time they were married he was cheating on his wife her cousins knew and it's just you'll have to read it to understand it but carolyn brown is a good writer, good author. I don't have any other books by her, but I'd like to do some other books by her 
and read it, but she's a good author, and I definitely love this book, and there's so many secrets in this book, so many secrets, you must read it. Then I read by John Green, Looking for Alaska. I was looking for this book forever, and I found it at Walmart, and I asked my husband to buy it. I did read The Fault and Stars in Our Eyes, which is actually over here on my other shelf. I was going through books and picking out books, and that one happened to be one of the books that got picked for me to reread again for next year. And then I had this book here, Residence. I liked it. <laughs> uh, very good book. I liked it. I rate this book a three stars. Sorry, but it wasn't three stars. I do want to reread it again and see if I might rate it something a little different. But this is a good book. And I would recommend this book if you are into action and things like that. This has action in it. This also has like mystery action. Who what we want to house. If you like stuff like that, you'll like this book. The next book is one of my most favorite books. And if you watched my favorite books of 2023, this book was in there. This book, Alex, I want to say McLeese, but it's not McLeese. It's Nicodemus, Alice Nicodemus, did I say it right? Nicodemus? Okay. The Silent Patient. This is one of my favorite mystery novels ever of all time. The ending of this book is superb. I want to read this book again. I literally, there's two books, and the other one's in here. There's two books I've been thinking about rereading. Literally rereading. Well, I say three, two books actually. One is, well, actually, no, three. One is A Silent Patient. I thought about, forget it, this will be my first book of next year in January to read. I am going to, I want to do some rereads. So, I, books I've read, um, hopefully someday I can get a shelf that I can put books that I have read on there and then go through there and pick out 10 books to reread and then I'm sitting here thinking wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute so after I have books that I wrap up and I pick one to read along with books every month starting next year and some of the books that I've already read I may wrap up and do a reread that doesn't mean, oh, I read this one already. I know what it's about. Nope, I gotta reread it. The next book, Life Lessons in Chemistry. This book is good. Now, let's see, here's some, some things. Now, I started, when I first read this book, I had my husband buy it, and we had to take my dog to the doctor. And I read this book starting out. We got to the, you know, the vet. And I was going to wait to get home to bust out the book. And I started reading it. I sat at the vet and I read to chapter 11. And they asked me about it. I said, so far so good. It is a very good book. It's one of the New York Times. Um, not a book of the year. It is a very good book. She's a good author. This is a very good book. If I wasn't into books, it'd be okay not to read it. But there is some things, some books I do have. When I do reread all my books, reread and read my books that I have now, this lets me know that I really want this book. I do want to get rid of it, but there are books I do want to keep. The next book that I read, the next book, I'm going to go ahead and say book, I read Fifty Shades of Gray, Darker, and Feed, 1, 2, and 3. There's another book on this, I think it's Feed. 
It's at my local library. But I have read all three of these books, and they were good. Um, I don't know. Oh, I did. I gave this one, it's showing a four star. No, three stars. I'm sorry. Yeah, I gave all these books a three stars. They're good. The movies are better, but the books. There's some things in these books that they do not talk about or show in the movies. The next one is The Secret Language of Growth. This book is at my library too right now. And I thought about getting it for my good friend to read. Um, I also have, I have the other books. Um. Uh, Chicken Boy and what are where I'd like to be. I have that book. The other one I really don't have, but I have these other two books just on here. I definitely want to read. This is a book series. Um, I believe I give this book a four stars. Now this book, I believe it's the first book. Other series, I'm not for sure, but I'd like to get the other one. I'm um, actually, I think I have them on my Goodreads to read, and I need to write these books down, the other ones, until I can pick them <clears throat> to read. Another book, and it's another book I'd like to do to read. This is not a library book. It's Misfortune Cookie. This was a really good book. The girl is a fortune. She tells fortunes and she writes fortunes to put in a fortune cookie. It's like, um, dear Miss Fortune Cookie, my best friend stole my boyfriend. Now she's going to prom with him. Is it wrong to give her the mono? By drinking from her soda can at lunch? Tempted. Dear Tempted, you can really give someone mono by drinking from a soda can. I wish they thought of useful things like that in bio. Sure, she does. Craig the sex before embarking on a path of revenge. First, did two grades. Are you still friends with her? If so, tell her how you feel. If you're no longer friends, revenge won't make anything better. Misfortune Cookie. Really good book. The characters in here. I mean, she really did love her boyfriend. And she met her best friend for her boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Back in school. My friend Rebecca and I, that's one thing we did not do. We did not show each other's boyfriends. But she did like a boy that was cute that I liked as well. And she really wanted to go out with him. But I think she wanted to go out with me and not her. I don't know. It's in the past. A long time ago. I just finished yesterday reading the book The Cabin. This book was amazing. I really liked it. The ending was like, wow. So wow. So, um, it, it starts, there's another book by this author called The, the Regular. And she's a good author. Oh my gosh, she's such a good author. The ending of the book is pretty, pretty good. Um, not hard, not long, but a good book. We had the next one I finished yesterday too as well. Was called the book called Nothing. This book really I got tears in this book. It's kind of sad because and also there's a lot more about this author. 
she thinks she's a nobody. Nobody loves her. Nobody wants her. Nobody wants anything to do with her, you know. And it's just a good, it's just a love story. It's like nothing matters. So it says, Pricing and Tom when he leaves school on his first day after summer break. Climbs a palm tree, plum tree, and stays there, creating an external crisis in his small suburban town. But of course things matter. Of course life for me will prove it. So, he's kind of like wanting to kill himself. Basically, he doesn't think the world don't give a dang about him. Nobody cares. Nothing really matters. Now, you got to read it to, to really understand it. Okay, let's see. The next three books we have um, by Crystal Herbert with The Hearts. This was a good book. It's not like how can I say it? Don't have spice in it, but I love books with spice. But this was a good book, heartwarming novel. An unknown benefactor invites a deserved announcement of a single to a New York Eve matchmaking ball. The violin the nose, a woman of silence and later ignores. And the infants considering it a various waste of time. Um, but I'm just going to read half of it. That's it. Y'all have to read the book. Find more. And I I have been getting, I've been watching, um, I can't think of her name right now. But she is a beautiful black lady that I am so sh shiny, shiny, shiny. I forget how to say her name. If I'm saying it wrong, you know what? In this video, I'm sorry. But she's she's into reading um black authors, and she got me into reading some black author books too. So I think there might be some in here as black authors. But this is uh, Lisa K. Williams, Seasons of Chance. Um, fifth book in the Sisters of All Seasons. I want to get all of them. I love this book. It was heartwarming. Um, another good book right here. I think this is a book series, but this is like the first one, I believe. But it's not bad. It's a good book. It's a little bit better, but it's okay. Um, this morning, I finished, binge, was it this morning? Yeah, this morning I finished, then she was gone, by Lisa Jules, I cannot believe I finished this book. And there's so many other ones that I've heard that I want to read. I like Lisa Jules, it's a really good book. Um, trying to get it. A Deadly Game of Magic is another book um, that I really liked. Um, this here, I think, Sharon G. Flake. I believe she might be a black author as well. The Skin I'm In. Love this book. I want my daughter-in-law. I gave this book five stars, and I'd love my daughter-in-law to read it to my grandson. Another five-star book, and another definitely read for me. One of my favorite books of all time, Miss Adventures with the Boss by Kendall Ryan. OMG, does this guy sound spicy spicy? But the end of the book <gasps> was amazing. The end of the book was amazing. I love the end of the book. Then we got Pirates and Pajestas. Is it not Pirates? Pride and Pajestas and Zombies. Saw the movie, liked the movie, it was okay. 
That book was okay. I gave this book a three stars. I don't really think that this would be a book that I would probably pick up and read again. I did give it three stars. But this may be a book that I'll probably end up getting rid of it out of my book collection. And who knows, I will be seeing my son this weekend, so I may give this book to my son and my daughter-in-law. And see if they want to read it. Let me just see that. Let me set that over here. Then another one I gave a five stars to, which is a good one, and that was by John Green. Turtles all the way down. Same with the fault. Stars in our eyes. I gave it a five stars. I love John Green. No, I know my last name's Green, and I do have a brother in law named John Green, but he's not the author. <laughs> so many people have been asking, is he your brother in law? No, he's not. But just because I have that last name, he's not my brother in law. And if he was, I would be shocked. Another book I loved. And I gave five stars. Was Tara Joe? Here's a book or two. I could read this book again. This book was heartwarming. It talked about her and how she started out, became a mini Britain, a mini um. I forgot. Um. I can't think of the other. It's another singer, but. She played many parts, and she also played in, I believe she played in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory as an Eva Belupa, if I'm not mistaken. I believe. So, it's a good book. The next book I want to talk about, this book, I'm not going to lie. This book changed my life. And I've said this many a times. I did some horrible things in the past. This book changed it. Getting into some other books. Another book I read was Gardenia. Really good book. Mystery. She had, she knows when she's going to die, how many days, years, months, and everybody, it's a good book, check it out. If I Stay, very good book, very good movie. Um, a book series, the South Carolina Sunset book, um, we have the Beach House. I connected to the characters in these books. Rachel Hannon is really good. I connected with the characters in these books. I still think about the characters, and I still think about these books because I really want to read the third one, and so forth and so on, but I read the first one and the second one. I bought the first one, and I was like, well, you know, someday maybe I'll find the second one or the third one or whatever, and I found the next one. Another book I can definitely right now would love to reread right now besides, um, the Silent Patient and these two books and Miss Adventures with the Boss is Verity. I could reread this book. I just recently bought this book too for my good friend. And the last books that I have read, which is Joan Flute, Fudge Cupcake Murder. This was an awesome book, a really good book. Loved it. Um, the Sun and I Turn Pretty by Jen, Jimmy, Jimmy Han. I want to get the second book and the third book. Peace, Love, and Cupcakes was a cute book. It is a kitty book, but it was a cute book. And To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jimmy Han. Oh. Jimmy Han. Oh. Well, uh, she wrote The Sun and I Turn Pretty. But I love her authors. I love this author and I love these books. I've read all but the third one of this book. So those are my books that I own that I actually read this year. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time. Bye guys.